somebody did in the half a uh, make an entry point. This has uh, deliberately been smashed out for somebody to gain entry. Ok guys, I'm back again with another explore and this one we done a while ago, I remember yeah, there, was no, there was no entry at all to it and this is how the window smashed clean out. So we're going to go and have a wander around inside. Right guys, let's check this place out. A wee dimmer switch there. Right away, there's a very nice old fireplace. And that is a solid marble. With a lovely big cast background here. Cast iron. You see how all the soot and debris been coming down the chimney. But that is very nice. I love that. I like these big deep windows. The uh, wooden shutters don't shut anymore, but still nice to look at all the same. And similar here. So this would have been a kind of sitting room. Wow, look at the thickness and size of that plaster coating. That's crazy large. That's about a foot from the ceiling down the wall. <laughs> Some dampness on the roof there. I also love these big heavy wooden doors with the six panels. That is a beautiful old light fitting as well. Just look at that. I apologise for the change in my usual lighting guys but I forgot to stop and buy batteries for my big lamp but Dale has kindly lent me a spare torch some glass there for the main door I like this kind of gold and yellow wallpaper oh look Still got these pale mitts. They're really nice. This would have been a, a lovely home at one time. But you can remember when everybody had the borders, wallpaper borders. Well, that's quite a large house once you're in. Downstairs toilet. <coughs> Look at the old latch, that's really cool. I'll get my gloves because it's a lot of surface mould. sandwiches so I ain't wanting mould on my fingers. Right, 
Right, let's have a look through here. Seems to be some sort of small bedroom. You still got this net hanging. It's hiding the electric panel. Whole place is still carpeted as well. Wouldn't take a lot to bring this place back to be nice. And now into the kitchen. Check them out of dead wasps. Holy crap. That's a good one for our bakes webs. The roof covering has fell down there. Well, that's nice, very decorative. Still got the B range and oven there. You know, slightly more modern cooker. I think everyone's pretty much emptied out. Huge storage over here for all your kitchen essentials. It's like spare door knobs and what have you. See how it's detaching from the house, this wee extension. The crack goes right up over the roof. <laughs> a load of golf balls and a wheel of a golf caddy. That's someone like their golf. I think that is, oh, I was going to say I think that's all that's downstairs, but, but clearly there's more to see. This is like a separate washroom. Washing machine, tumble dryer, things like that would have been in here. And look at the paint peeling away from the walls. Silent Hill stuff. And then grudge stuff with the attic space. Oh, first time I watched that film. <sighs> Terrifying. 
Yeah, it just seems somewhat cheesy. And some nice uh, fleur de lis curtains here. One of my favourite patterns design. A fleur de lis. My grandmother's house had those knobs right throughout it when I was a kid. It's funny seeing that again. And have a look at the view. Right out there, a large river runs by. And this fireplace has been blocked off. But that is actually quite a nice fire surround. And you've got these lovely wee lamps. Right, that is definitely... Oh, look. Wooden slatted roof. But I was going to say, that is definitely the whole of the uh, downstairs. So we shall go up stairs and have a look there. Right guys, onwards and upwards. Yeah, although I disagree with somebody smashing to gain entry, it's still good to get in and get a look around this one. Oh my god, there's some serious dampness there. Oh, that's another level. Right, we'll get a look up there soon, once we've explored this level. Oh, a nice breeze coming through there. This is just some sort of hall, hallway. Got to remember those old lampshades as well. Another toilet and a glass partition for the shower. And you've got your warped glass for the bathroom door. Here we go, here's the bath. A rather deep one at that. And the shower. little vanity light and then very nice sink actually, it's lovely, I like the shape of that. Here's a look out to the farm courtyard. If you haven't seen that you can go back and have a look at that video. I can't remember the name of it right now but I'll check and I'll put the title in right now and you can go and have a look at that one if you want to see the rest of the, the grounds at this location. Oh, nice old set of wooden step ladders. I'm taking it this will be the master bedroom. It is very large. You know, they are so rusty, they look like wood, but they're actually metal. I could have swore that was a really old set of wooden ladders when I first seen them there. But, they're metal. <laughs> That's crazy. And some old cut in the net. You can see where the carpet was and then they had stained the wood around about it. 
I absolutely love that kind of thing. Plus, when it comes to carpet in the room, saves you a lot of cutting in. Just get a big square carpet and then stain the wood round about the rest. <laughs> right over to this side. Ooh. Mold. But have a look at this. What an excellent bee fire that is. Storage cupboard. In this room was Angela's room. And there's not only one stunning marble fireplace in this house, there's two. So there's a replica of the one downstairs. Although the tiles are different, the one downstairs has got the cast iron. a little dresser room. I need to make myself a couple of TV stools. That's a kind of cute wee lampshade. Right guys, let's go up to the third and final level. I must admit, this is like exploding in, in luxury with all these carpets. Oh my god. Didn't you have to make a full job of the Conversion in the attic. This is quite large. It's an epic wee room, this. Be fair, please. Sorry, storage. Creepy be dark hatch. She was that whiskey you were downstairs. <laughs> it's pretty cool, that's up here, eh? Look in here, once I've checked this one out. This is a wee office, my desk. Oh, and a bed and a chair. I'm loving these slatted wooden doors. They are very nice. Oh, 
Hey! <laughs> this is not a place I want to be locked in. Oh, look at the old bed headboard. This is just like classic horror movie scene. This. I love it though. Spiderwebs. Look how each uh, beam is inscribed by Roman numerals. That's cool. Do not know how old this uh, house is. This is definitely one of the earliest parts you to build. Over here we have some pretty epic looking bottles. It smells like a, an old wooden ship in here. Cuts a carpet. He sold a cast iron fire pieces. Love it. Be slow, man. Try to freak me out. <laughs> well guys, that is it for this explore. I've really enjoyed it and I hope you've also enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Urbex Biker's channel and give him a subscribe. But with that being said, until next time, this is Pajerico signing off.